tankers from all over the world dot Singapore's coastline. A consistent reminder of our enduring strategic location and maritime importance. While many saw this potential throughout history, not all capitalized on it. More than a hundred years before Stamford Raffles arrived, one man noticed the island's importance. His name was Alexander Hamilton, and he was an adventurous Scottish sea captain who traveled the world in the age of exploration. In 1703, Hamilton was sailing through Southeast Asia when the Sultan of Johor offered Singapore to him as a gift. The Sultan was not merely being generous. He was not a popular leader and his reign was in crisis. To make matters worse, the Dutch were also gaining monopoly over the trade in the region. By offering Singapore as a gift to Hamilton, it was likely the Sultan hoped that the presence of British traders would challenge Dutch monopoly. Hamilton politely refused the offer, but reported it back to his superiors at the East India Company. He wrote, The island could be of no use to a private person, though a proper place for a company to settle a colony in. Lying in the center of trade and being accommodated with good rivers and safe harbors. Hamilton had spotted Singapore's potential as early as 1703, yet his suggestion would go unheeded for more than a century, merely becoming an interesting footnote in Singapore's history.